Another thing to point out in these uh, two graphs is that we do have nodes, and we figured out last time we calculated how many nodes we should have in a 2s orbital, and in terms of radial nodes, we expect to see one node. And how many nodes do you see in the 3s orbital? Two, good. I'm glad to hear that no one counted this r equals zero as a node. So we expect to see two nodes right here in the 3s orbital, and we can calculate that with the formula that we used, uh, which was just n minus l minus one equals the number of nodes. Or we could just look at the radio probability distribution itself and see how many nodes there are. So if we're looking at these two situations here, and we're actually thinking of them from a more classical standpoint, which is natural for us to do because we live our lives in the everyday world, not thinking about things on the atomic size scale all the time, most of us. Um, so for example, if we were to look at this 3s orbital here, you might have the question of how this can be. Because we're saying that, for example, we have probability of having an electron here, an electron can also be way out at this radius here, but what we're saying is there's a node here, so that there's no probability of finding an electron between those two points. So you can think of it, if we were to just think of it as a straight line that we were going across, essentially what we're saying is that we're getting from point A to point C without ever getting through point B. So uh, that can be a little bit confusing for us to think about, and when it's a, it's a very good question, you might in fact say, well, maybe there's not zero probability here, maybe it's just this teeny, teeny, tiny number, and in fact, sometimes an electron can get through, it's just very low probability, so that's why we never really see it. And in fact, that's not the answer. The answer is, in fact, there is zero, absolutely zero probability of finding an electron here. So when it, basically we're saying, yes, we can go from point A to point C without ever going through point B. That might seem confusing if you're thinking about particles, but remember, we're talking about the wave-like nature of electrons. So the quantum mechanical interpretation is that we can, in fact, have probability density here and probability density there without having any probability of having the electron in the space between. And you can think about that if you think about a standing wave, for example, where you can have amplitude at many different values of x, so an amplitude at many different distances, but you also have areas where there is a zero amplitude. So remember, this, is, this makes sense if you just think of it as a wave and forget the particle part of it for right now, uh, because that would be very upsetting to think about, and that's not, in fact, what's going on. We're talking about quantum mechanics here. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry, so it's n minus l minus 1. So here we have 3 minus l equals 0, because it's an s orbital, minus 1. So we have two radial nodes here. Yeah. <laughs> 